Hi, welcome to this Code Maths video. In this Code Maths video, we're going to be looking at matrix equations, so equations that involve matrices. So let's have a look at our first example. So we've got x subtract, and then we've got a 2 by 2 matrix, 5, 1, 3, negative 2. And that's equal to the 2 by 2 matrix, 0, 2, negative 1, 9. So if we want to find out what this x is, what we want to do is we want to get rid of this subtract 5, 1, 3, negative 2. So if we want to get rid of this matrix, we're going to add it to both sides of the equation. So we're going to add it to the left-hand side, and we're going to add it to the right-hand side. So we're going to add 5, 1, 3, negative 2 to the left-hand side, and we're also going to add it to the right-hand side of the equation, 5, 1, 3, negative 2. And on the left-hand side, we added this matrix to get rid of this matrix, so we just be left with x. And on the right-hand side, we had the matrix 0, 2, negative 1, 1, 9, and we're going to be adding the matrix 5, 1, 3, negative 2. And now we just need to add these matrices together. So to add matrices together, such as these, we just add the corresponding elements. So we'll add the top left one to the top left one, the top right, the top right, and so on. So the answer would be 0 plus 5 is equal to 5, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, negative 1 plus 3 is equal to 2, and 9 plus negative 2 would be 9, take away 2, which is equal to 7. So that means that x is equal to 5, 3, 2, 7, and that's it. So we've solved that equation involving matrices. Okay, let's have a look at our next example. So this time we've got the matrix equation, 5x plus, and then we've got a 2 by 2 matrix, 15, 20, negative 10, 40, is equal to 30, negative 5, 25, negative 15. So to solve this equation, what we're going to do is, like we would solve a normal equation, we would want to get rid of this, and then we want to get rid of the times by 5. So let's get rid of this matrix from the left-hand side to begin with. So let's take away that matrix from both sides of our equation. So we'll take away it from the left-hand side, and we'll take it away from the right-hand side. So we're taking away 15, 20, negative 10, 40. And on the right-hand side, we're going to take away 15, 20, negative 10, 40. So on the left-hand side, we were taking away that matrix to get rid of that matrix, so we'd just be left with 5x. And on the right-hand side, we had the matrix 30, negative 5, 25, negative 15. And we're taking away the matrix 15, 20, negative 10, 40. And let's take it away and see what we get. So that means that 5x would be equal to 30 subtract 15 is equal to 15. Negative 5 take away 20 would be negative 25. 25 subtract negative 10, well, 25 minus minus 10 would be 35, adding it on. And finally, negative 15 subtract 40, well, negative 15 subtract 40 would be negative 55. So that's what 5x is. Now, we don't want 5x, we just want x, so we're just multiplying this matrix by a scalar, so that means we can divide both sides here by 5, so that means we can just find x, and we can do that because it is a scalar, just a number. So we can divide by 5 and divide by 5, and we would get on the left-hand side, x, and on the right-hand side, dividing each of these elements by 5 would give us 15 divided by 5 is 3, negative 25 divided by 5 would be negative 5, 35 divided by 5 would be 7, and negative 55 divided by 5 would be negative 11. So that means that x is equal to 3, negative 5, 7, negative 11, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next example. So we've got solve the equation, negative 7, 2, 4, 1, subtract 2x is equal to negative 5, 3, 6, negative 1. Now, whenever I solve this matrix equation, what I'm going to do is I, I don't want to have this negative 2x here. I'm actually going to add 2x's to both sides of this equation to begin with, just so that it's not a negative 2x. I like it whenever it's just a 2x rather than a negative 2x. So I'm going to add 2x to the left-hand side of the equation, and I'm going to add 2x to the right-hand side of the equation. So the left-hand side of the equation, we just added the 2x to get rid of the minus 2x, so we'd just be left with negative 7, 2, 4, 1. And on the right-hand side, we had the matrix negative 5, 3, 6, negative 1, and we're just adding 2x, so adding 2x. Now we want to find out what x is, so we want to get rid of this matrix, and then we want to get rid of this multiplied by 2. So let's subtract this matrix from both sides of the equation. So let's take away minus 5, 3, 6, negative 1 from the left-hand side, and also take it away from the right-hand side, negative 5, 3, 6, negative 1. So on the right-hand side, so this side here is quite straightforward. We took away the matrix to get rid of the matrix, so we're just going to be left with 2x. And on the right-hand side, we would have our negative 7, 2, 4, 1, and we're subtracting our negative 5, 3, 6, negative 1. And when we work out what this would be, that would be 2x. So let's work out our subtraction. So that would be negative 7, take away negative 5. So negative 7 minus minus 5 means you're going to go back up 5, so that would be minus 2. 2 subtract 3 would be negative 1, 4 subtract 6 would be negative 2, and 1 subtract negative 1 would be 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. And that's equal to 2x. 
Now we've got multiply by 2 here, it's a scalar, so we can divide both sides of the equation here by 2 because it's a scalar. So we're going to divide by 2 and divide by 2 because it's just a number 2, we can divide by that. So whenever we divide by 2 on the right hand side, we'll just be left with x, that's great. And on the left hand side, we're dividing a matrix by a scalar, so we're just going to divide each one of the elements by that number. So we're going to divide each of these numbers by 2. And that would be negative 2 divided by 2, it's negative 1. Negative 1 divided by 2 would be minus a half or negative a half. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 again, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that means that x is equal to negative 1, negative a half, negative 1, 1. And that's it. So we've solved that equation. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to solve matrix equations, so equations involving matrices. This has been part one. Feel free to go to corpmaths.com and to watch matrix equations part two. And I hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.